Hi folks, <coughs> good to see you, nice to see you, to see you, nice. Just going to ask uh, Brother Mike here, uh, what has he been studying? So Brother Mike. How are you doing bro, you alright? What have you been studying mate, what have you been thinking about over the months? Uh, how to give the gospel to people who don't really want the gospel but really need it. So basically, it's uh, it's reaching the lost, but the lost don't want to be don't want to be found. So it's, it's trying to get that over to people and uh, get them to understand, sharing it. So any any points of wisdom that you found in doing that, thinking uh, about that? Points of wisdom, I would say uh, praying. That's the first thing, prayer and desire, and um, basically um, getting into the word. Yeah. Getting into the word and knowing scripture and also getting to know some of the arguments that are against your position and getting to know their position as well and undermining it. Uh, wounding them, as you said, wound them and heal them. So wound them with the truth and then give them, yeah. give yeah. them some, uh, heal them with the truth as well. Yeah. Yeah. So just that really. You know, what have you been studying, bro? What are you looking at? Uh, well, I think I watched. Um, I think I watched. Uh, you know that documentary that we were watching today on Paul. Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I was watching that and a few weeks ago, and it just really spoke to me how um, the commitment that Paul had, all that travel that he did, three missionary journeys, and he didn't have like fast travel like we did. And it just showed me like the enormous commitment that he had to the gospel, and that we need to have that commitment. Yeah. And um, I think um, the other thing was that wherever he went, <clears throat> things happened. The cities were shaken up. Yeah. And um, and the other thing that like the truth. Are you alright, bro? Yeah. Yeah. He's letting you go. The truth, um, the truth's power, you know. And I think, like, what Paul, he went to Athens, he went to Jerusalem, he went to the Jews, but all the time he's just preaching the truth. Yeah. You know, and uh, I think a lot of times, like, when we're doing, a, defending the faith, we've got to get great dollops of the truth out. Yeah. You know, dollops of who Jesus is, dollops of what sin is, and yeah. lots of lots of scripture and that, and it really spoke to me. Yeah. Whereas uh, over the last year and a half, when I've been going down to Hyde Park, not all the time I do preaching, but sometimes it can get theoretical arguments. I mean, if Paul was on a radio show, yeah, and he was debating someone, he'd just say, "There is a God. Yeah, you are a sinner. Jesus is the Son of God. He died and rose again." Yeah. And he defend it from scripture. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, and he just keep it like that, you know. Whereas I think sometimes, me anyway, I can get a bit theoretical. Where he, he, he was grounded on scripture. Oh yeah, he was always on the cross when he was a man yeah, of the cross. Yeah, a man of the cross, you know, so... So I think that's what I've been learning. Yeah. Um, just, uh... Do you think, um, do you think people like Muslims or atheists will ever understand what we're trying to tell them about them throwing a spanner in the works. I think gonna, we're going to have some, uh, we've had some good conversations haven't we, some good seed planning haven't we? Yeah, it's a good point. I think, <clears throat> I think a couple of things, I think the parable of um, the sower. Yeah. The seed went on good soil and then there was bad soil. Yeah. You know, and I think it all depends who uh, who's listening that you have to pray yeah. like we have been saying praying for for hearts that are willing to listen and it's getting those individuals that have a heart that's that's willing to have the seed watered in their hearts you know what spoke to me as well today was that guy preaching I think it was the American guy said that we need reliable people yeah, yeah we need to have people that are reliable you know and I think so far we've got reliability we just need now to uh, Equip one another, equip others, and yeah. also to you know give give the gospel to people, but take it beyond just not just lead them to Christ, but also it's beyond that, innit? Yeah, yeah. It's equipping the people as well, innit? You know. I think that's what we need to be praying for and working together. Yeah. Working together to to help us to grow together. Yeah. Like today, it's been nice, just been relaxing today, but sometimes we have a 
an afternoon or an evening where we have a bit of study together yeah. but drawing others in it yeah. so that they get our hearts and that they get built up yeah. and then they build others up yeah. in the process in it yeah. and then when we go down to Hyde Park yeah. it's taking that same ethos so we're not just debating and arguing but we want to see people saved and then come through yeah, yeah. discipled so we need to be praying maybe for the next year yeah. That that's how we move. That you know. So it's a good point you're making, really. That's uh, I need to pray for uh, for the lost in it because Jesus came to save the lost one. So in the Hyde Park, you're easily get into debates and stuff. But you know, we uh, we know the lost, so we need to uh, bring them home really with the truth. We need to really hit the heart, impact the heart with the gospel in it, and impact yeah, the heart yeah. of the hearer, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a good point. It's about saving the lost. It's not about winning the argument or anything. It's about not everyone's going to save. accept the gospel, but we'll 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 do our best to give it. You know. I think I think it's I think it's easy to lose sight a little bit because when you go down there, it's like it's like gladiator time, isn't it? Yeah. So like you you're like a gladiator at Hyde Park, and you you're battling away, but on the street it really refreshed me that what he said it brought it home practically didn't it yeah that that speaker mm. he, he gave you those three principles what what was the first one it was seeking the lost yeah was it seeking the lost equipping the saints equipping the saints and what was the third one um, seeking reliable people reliable people yeah so for leadership so our hearts our dna has to be seeking the lost Equipping the saints, yeah. and then empowering people to leadership. Yeah. But you don't give it to just anybody. You've got to find people who are, who are going to be reliable. Yeah, it's not anyone can have a go. It's like you said when you do your table. Like loads of people go, yeah, I want to get involved, I want to get involved. And like I said, it's not just anybody that can do it. It's you've got to see people who are reliable. Aren't you can be trained, equipped, whatever. Who know. have the heart to be trained? Who have the heart to be equipped? Because yeah. they all think they can do it, but they're not necessarily can if, unless they've had a desire to serve. If they don't have a desire to serve, then you don't, you haven't got a. Do you know what I mean? If 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 the greatest preacher turned up at a church, yeah, for the first time, yeah, that preacher would say, right, I want to preach. Yeah, they just want to serve. Yeah. It's, it's the, the the leadership comes because you have a heart of service. That's right, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why they're reliable. They're reliable because the people who just have a servant heart mm. and they're, they're there willing to serve. Exactly. But when you're doing street preaching, if basically they come and they think that the next... That the, I don't know what they think, but they, they kind of think... Yeah, they just go in it. it all they just go in the come places, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So it was good tonight. I really, I really was blessed. Yeah, it's all right, wasn't it? That first time preaching, it was okay, that. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was sincere, though, wasn't it? As well, that guy. He was sincere. He came from his heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We were just talking about two people. There was an elderly pastor. He said a few things about sharing the gospel about equipping the saints and leadership is given to people who are reliable and then we listened to a young preacher I think an Indian preacher wasn't it yeah who, who had preached the first time and he preached on the father's heart really I think wasn't it yeah, yeah. and uh, it was really good yeah. so that's what we're talking about so um, anything out of that guy's sermon that Indian sermon that, yeah. that you got that, that was a blessing I think near the end when he was talking about walking on ground, we, when we have Jesus in our heart, we're walking, we're treading on death. We're, we're, we're walking on death all the time because we're overcomers. We've overcome by the blood of the Lamb, haven't we? We can do all things through Christ. So basically, we're light shining in the darkness, which we are really, because we're in this dark world where there's where the gospel message and the, the values of Jesus Christ and of the Father are not in play 
but you know we are this the body of Christ in it equipping them to you know I like the fact he was talking about this was the old preacher as well he was talking about the fullness of the body of Christ to build the body of Christ up yeah yeah. you know so it's good that we can uh, have a privilege to go and do this yeah yeah it's not going to be an easy battle because Paul the Apostle went through he went through work, he went through famine didn't he hunger, cold, nakedness being rejected all these things this is like the walk of faith isn't it yeah yeah. that's like the tough tough walk of faith isn't it but you know we, 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 we can be successful if God's you know God's going to bless us isn't he and use us yeah, mightily yeah. I think, I think what I got out of it as well, I was quite touched really because when you go through difficulties or when you're going through stuff, yeah. it's hard to appreciate that you're loved by God sometimes. Yeah. And it just really spoke to me that I need to meditate more on that God is our Father, that He loves us, you know, yeah. and, and, and to appreciate that more because uh, and to walk in that walk in that grace you know I like and, what he's sorry go on, go on. so, so that I, I got a lot out of that you know it really touched me you know I like what he said about like, God just wants to bless us so we might be going through a hardship but we get a double blessing because like Job went through a lot of God said if you consider my servant and that was so we could double bless him because he knew he was going to walk faithfully with him you know so I like the fact that God has always got something good for us, hasn't he? It's never bad, is it? It's always no, good. No. He lets us he lets bad things happen, but they're always behind the scenes he's working out a blessing, isn't he? You know, he's working out something to for good to come out of that. And I think we go through certain trials as well, so that it strengthens us for the future, for for other yeah, things. That's a good you know. point, mate. That's a good point. It's like if you go through, I don't know, like I went through death of my father and mm. maybe God will use that. I might meet someone who's lost their dad, and I can relate to that. If I've never, if someone's never really related, lost their dad, and it's hard for them to relate to another person, that what it feels like. And maybe they can emphasise, but don't necessarily know that feeling. But so maybe God does uses these things as, as a blessing. It does. It says. Or in, if you're depressed or something. Or, sorry, in, go. On. In two Corinthians chapter chapter one. Verse 3, God is a God of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we can comfort others. So. Yeah. And there's many times when I've gone through trial that I meet someone later and they're going through the trial that I've gone through. And, I, and I'm, I'm the only person in a way that could help them because it's the exact trial that I went through. Yeah. So yeah. I'm the person that they need to hear. Yeah. And it's the same... All of us will go through specific things and that we meet someone and it's exactly what they need because yeah. it's exactly what we you've gone through or you know and you understand all the feelings and the difficulties and the challenges yeah, yeah. that they that they are facing, you know. Yeah. And that's happened to me a few times, you know, in the past. Yeah. And it's really But it was refreshing tonight to it was refreshing to just worship the Lord and they were simple messages, but they were powerful, powerful, yeah. weren't they? You know, that's what I liked about going there on a Wednesday because it it just be a simple message, but it'd be have, it'd have packed so much power in it. You know, it'd be like a sucker punch, boom, wow. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're just simple truths, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's just I simple. I found that when you start worshiping God or whatever, it just things start to happen, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And then the atmosphere changes. And, it's like God's on the throne and he hears the praise and he, he's listening and he starts to move, you know. He's always working, isn't he? It's amazing, isn't he? Jesus said, didn't he, my, my father and I are always working. My father's always working. It's amazing. But I, it was a good truth, though, to, to think that God wants to bless you, that he's on your side, that he's with you. No matter what, so it was. A, it was really. I needed to hear that tonight, so it was good. Yeah, it's easy to blame God, isn't it? When things are rubbish. But, uh, you know, it's like. Oh, I tell you what, it's, it's some challenge being put on this earth, isn't it? 
<laughs> some challenge, man. Amen, amen. So, straight up. It's uh, turn, turn right, mate. Turn right. Okay. That's good, right? I like little churches where they got just little things. So, are you, we don't tell them the date. So, you're going to tell them what we're thinking about doing at Hyde Park. Don't tell the date, though. Don't give the date away. Yeah. So, we 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 normally folks when we go to Hyde Park. Just tell them how we feel when we go to Hyde Park on the coach, bro. What what's it like on the coach, Mega Bus? Um, it's like giving birth to triplets <laughs> in one go, <laughs> having no gas or air to help you. You know, it's terrible. It's like it's another dimension. It's just another dimension. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? It's like the Twilight Zone. You know, things aren't as they seem. You know, we're in an out out of limits here. You know what I mean? It's, it's like the terrible. Outer he said. He said. It's like it, time's it, going backwards. Always. He said. He said he feels like when we were in, in Manchester just a minute ago. He said being on the coach is like being in a washing machine. Yeah, on a fast spin. On a fast spin. Old wash. <laughs> so we're planning. We're planning. We're not going to tell you the date, but we are going to come down to Hyde Park. But we're planning to go down in luxury. In this Dulux wonderful car of yours, aren't we? Yeah, that's that's the idea. So that will be heaven on earth. We can relax, chill out, do a bit of having sandwiches, having a bit of sleep, having a bit of a rest. So I'm looking forward to it in this car. It'll be if we get to go in this car, it will be pure deluxe because I feel like when we go in to Hyde Park and we go in on Mega Buzz. It feels like we're Royal Marines that have just done a battle already before we enter into another battle at Hyde Park. It's like crossing the English Channel to land on the Dunkirk beach. You know, in one of them, in them not going across the choppy sea, one of them things with loads of men just crammed together. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. Uh, you get there and you're all, Ugh, everyone's just regurgitating yeah. everything. And then, and then we're back, when, when we've had hours and hours of torture on Megabuzz, we get off, we get into... Hyde Park, is we're, we're whacked out then, and then we have this battle with all the Muslims debating, and then when we come back, we get on mega buzz, and by the time we get home, I feel like I've had a fight with Mike Tyson. Yeah. And given birth to two triplets or something, you know? Yeah, would you say that Hyde Park is like the WWF Royal Rumble, where it's like every man for themselves, just in a big ring, and everyone's just tag, tag, what they call, where they tag one another, <laughs> you know, like, it is, you're in now. You, it is. I remember, you know, when we sat down, we sat down at the park. We sat, yeah. we sat down, didn't we? And we sat on the grass. Yeah. And Hatoom came to talk to us, yeah. Yeah. And I looked out, and uh, I saw all the all the Muslims, and then I saw the Christians in little different spots. Yeah. And it was like watching knights fighting. <laughs> you know, like battling with another 20, 20 people around them. You know what I mean? It was like, whoa. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like you just meet all kinds of personalities. There's wackos there, like the Cross and Star guy. You can't even talk to him, I'd give up. You can't have a rational talk to him. Agabuga is God and Jesus wrapped into one, so that's as far as he's concerned, you know. We gotta break through though, we gotta like break through and get see people converted and, and get them discipled and, and stuff like we were saying, you know. Yeah. And uh kind of cut through all that nonsense really and just stick to what we're good at what we're doing well i'm gonna do some spiritual bit of spiritual warfare a bit this week and i'm just gonna pray in the spirit against darkness against hyde park whatever's whatever's down there trying to hinder the gospel or whatever it is i'm gonna pray yeah because paul says we we wrestle not with flesh and blood so the weapons of our warfare yeah are mighty in god for pulling down strongholds so we're going to use that power not our own flesh, you know, our own physical power, which we can't do. Yeah, yeah. So, we're not like Islam, we don't use physical power with swords and knives and oh, yeah, yeah, Amen, amen. Our AK-47 is our prayer and our, the word of God. Amen, amen. And there's no power on earth that can equal that, I tell you. Amen, that's it, we've got to do it spiritually. I think, you know, sometimes we need to have a prayer walk, everybody just walk up and down the Hyde Park and just pray. Yeah. Before it all goes. Yeah, before it goes off, pray in that space. Just everybody walk round and just pray. Yeah. And pray, you know, have a special... We, you know what? I think we should all have... All the Christians who go down there and who's interested, we should have special nights of prayer. Yeah. 
walk you know, about. pray for that place, you know. Yeah. We've got to pray for that place because it's so strategic, it's so important. The Muslims need to realise, if, if they're walking on holy ground down there, you know. Imagine if there was a revival of Muslims getting converted down there. That would be amazing, that one. That would be amazing. That, I mean, that it would. If that did happen, it would affect the whole of the world, wouldn't it? Because they're all watching that. Like, like. Remember that guy said in the church tonight, "By your faith, it shall be done." Yeah. That was yeah. Uh, that was good as well. Because we walk by faith, not by sight, you know. And, and it's not your will be done. It's uh, by my faith. I pray anything in your name be done. I think we can, yeah. Amen. Hey, uh, Folks, we're going to go now. It's nice to see you, to see you nice. We love you all. So God bless you. And uh, we'll see you soon. God bless you. Love you all. Take care now. Take care. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. God bless you. God bless.